All right, hey guys, hey, it's Ben from USA Magnum. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to change the default setting for black and white only printing on your Altalink. All right, so right now, we are at the printer's web page for this. We got here by going to the IP address of the printer and typing it into our web browser. Uh, we don't necessarily need that, but it's a good thing to check to make sure you are connected to it prior to making any changes. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna open up your control panel on your computer. So by pressing the little flag here at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, type in control panel. Once control panel opens, you're gonna be looking for uh, printers, which is right here. You're looking for a device and printers. Once you've found that, click it, and as it opens up, it's gonna show you a list of all the printers that you have installed on your computer. The one we're looking for is gonna be labeled as the name of the printer. So if you don't know the name of the printer, that's why we had the web page open where it says name, copy room C8055. So look for that inside of your devices and printers. Here it is. We're gonna right click on it, and we're going to click on Printing Preferences. We click Printing Preferences Open. Opens. This is going to show you all the different options that exist inside of your printer. This is the important one right here where it says Xerox in black and white. Right now it's turned off. When it's turned off, it means it's going to print and color images are going to be color, regardless of what it is. Once you select that option to turn on, your color images will now print in monochrome or black and white for example. By doing any changes on the printing preferences and pressing the apply button, we'll set the default on your computer to whatever settings there are here. So this won't affect the server settings, this won't affect your neighbor settings or anybody else using this printer, this only affects yours. So why is this important, you're asking? So we just save that setting, correct? We'll go back to the website that we were at and we're gonna press, uh, hold down control and press P. This brings up the print dialog button. We're going to change the destination to the copy me, and you're going to immediately see the black and white image appear here. You can change this to portrait, you can do all your other settings changes here, but as you can see, it's going to be black and white. Notice right here on the left hand side, Chrome is already configured to notice that it's going to be in black and white, but you can change the color right there. So as you can see now, it switches to color, or choices back to black and white. Let's go ahead and print this document out so you can see what it looks like. And what we're also going to do for a comparison is I'm going to print out the color portion as well. So here you go. Here is the black and white portion of the actual printout of the document. I'm gonna go ahead and post these up here so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. So the reason why you want to switch it to black and white is if you're on a maintenance plan and someone is printing off something that's like a, a letterhead or a comp company letter that only has a small bit of color in there, you don't wanna be charged a whole page for just that one little logo at the top corner, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna switch it to black and white only using the Xerox black and white only feature in the printer preferences. Just make that change. Notice if we were gonna print this document out of Word, you'll be able to see here by clicking Printer Properties that color is turned off and only black and white were print. So to make that change in Word, as your print screen opens up, the print preview, you select the right printer, and then you select Printer Properties, and then you change it right here, off, use document color. And we'll just print the first page of this one since there's a lot of blue on it. Now I'll show you that. And here is that same document printed out in color. So, in this video we showed you how to switch your printing, printing preferences to use Xerox black and white only. Again, what that does is that turns your color document into a black and white only document when printing. The reason why we want to do this is to save on your maintenance costs month after month and also avoid printing documents that really don't need to be in color that can be in black and white. So guys, I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment below or send us an email to online at usamagnum.com. More than happy to help you out. Until next time, take care.